All right, you guys, it looks like women are broke. Women are broke and inflation is eating them up and they need some money. They need your money. You're going to have to start paying for all the dates. All right, so before we get into the women that are complaining about being broke, let's uh, listen to this one girl give us reasons why she's not broke anymore. Five reasons you'll always be broke coming from someone who was. I was buying Starbucks or Dutch Bros every day before work. I was ordering takeout every single day because I didn't feel like cooking or going to the grocery store. I was not tracking my expenses. I was not paying off my credit card in full at the end of each month. I had a very nice car, but I didn't have a house. The only thing I did was get my priorities straight. There's only one fucking thing in this world that keeps me broke. Just one thing, and I can speak for all of us. We all got this problem. It's fentanyl. Fentanyl keeps me broke. Fentanyl is amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. Oh, wait. I know somebody who knows how to. It feels like something slowly, like, just pulling your life force out of you. And then you get tunnel vision, starts getting smaller and smaller. And around this tunnel, it's just darkness, right? And it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and closes. And then it goes, you're dead. I'm always willing to enter that tunnel for some fentanyl bliss. All right. Next, we got a girl going completely insane over being broke. Check it out. I literally just checked my bank account. <laughs> I am so broke. And I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> and I just paid for more gas. <laughs> Only $10. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Somebody better call Animal Control to put old Yeller over here down. No, Mama. There's no hope for him now, Travis. <laughs> Got a barrier in the dirt and you work all day. Now she's down there in the dirt and you work all day. No, seriously, I think uh, she's faking it in this video, but who knows? Maybe she's really losing her mind over this. I don't know. What do you think? Was that video real? I don't know. Let's see what's next. All right, let's see what this fine young lady has to say. Everyone is broke until proven otherwise. We live in a generation where it's really, really easy to flex on social media and it can make you feel really, really bad about where you are in your life. But you don't know that person's financial situation. That's fucking coping. Those people on social media are better than you. They're doing things that are way cooler than what you were doing. Just accept it, you know. The Prophet Muhammad said that lying makes you go directly to hell. So I gave you a nice hijab. You have no idea if the car's leased, if the credit cards are maxed out, there's two mortgages on the house and there's seven credit cards and there's not a cent that isn't going to debt. Just consider for a second whether those people are saving, whether they can afford their mortgage with the rate rises or whether they're up to their eyes in credit card debt. You can just tell she's like, oh my God, their lives better be worse than mine. But uh, I don't know. She does have a point. You never know what's really happening behind the scenes of social media, so... I'll give that to her. What what do we got next here? All right, this woman is shopping in Walmart. Let's see what she has to say. I swear, every time I come to Walmart, the fucking prices go up. Bitch, I come shopping every two to three weeks. Tell me why this shit was literally four fucking like 40 something and now it's five eighty seven eight dollars for fucking turkey. Bro. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And am I, am I gonna buy it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. am. This bitch looks like a turkey breast. Like, couldn't you see yourself going to your family's house for Thanksgiving? And, you know, you walk into the dining room and see the turkey on the table. And instead of the turkey, it's her. You know, I could definitely see that. All right, what do we got next here? Good Lord, a potential divorce. That's what we have here. Let's see what she has to say. So my husband called me today on the way home from work. And he asked me how much we were spending on groceries this year compared to last year and the year before. I told him I had no clue, but I could find out. I place all of our orders either on Instacart or on Walmart Plus. Since the month of September is not all the way over, I decided to go back to August for year 21, 22, and 23 to compare the difference. In 2021, we did not have a Walmart. All right, honestly, who cares? Let's go to the next one. All right, long nails in a gas tank. That all makes for a good time. People are broke as fuck. Someone really only put 371 in her gas tank. <laughs> Weak as fuck. Damn, just roasting yourself, I see right here. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, we got a fine young lady. She just got herself some Subway. Let's see what she has to say about all this. 
I think this inflation thing's really getting to me. I used to buy one of these things, foot long, back in the day. Six dollars. You know what this cost me now? Eleven dollars. Mm. All I got was turkey. Yeah, those foot longs might be more expensive than they used to be, but we know that these young petite white girls will do anything for their big bacon cheese. That BBC. Get it? Hi! Hi. All right, what do we have next? Let's see why this lady has no money. The reason I have no money. Joe Biden, you damn son of a bitch. Get out of here. Speaking of Joe Biden, this next person kind of looks like they voted for Joe Biden. Well, fuck being this person. That's literally all I have to say about that. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, this girl's about to philosophize deep on how it sucks to be broke. Check it out. You ever been so broke? You ever been so broke you, you not, you're not even sad about it no more? Like, you just like, okay, I ain't got no money. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I don't know how I'm going to pay for gas. I don't know how it, and I literally have a trip. I have a trip in a few months in December. Huh? I have, I'm, I'm unemployed. I'm unemployed students. I don't know how I'm going to pay for anything. I have no money. I have, I, hmm. Hmm? But guess what? But guess what? It's going to work out. Ain't got good. It's going to work out. All right, you guys. One last clip and I got to go. These girls right here. They need a man to buy them some shit at the mall. Are you willing to be that man? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's just so beautiful. Yeah. I always wanted to one of these. It's so pretty. Yeah, yeah this is so cute. This is so cute. I ain't willing to be that man. It's a dog eat dog world. An old yeller eat dog world. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. Consider writing a uh, email request. Consider donating. Earth said JD. Thank you for watching.